So hi there, this is my uh, Daimler SP250 and anyone with one of these V8 engines will know, I suspect, that um, the spark plug tubes here uh, fill up with oil. Um, it's a well-known problem <clears throat> which my engine suffered from ever since I've had it, which is uh, about 30 years now. Um, but uh, the cover, the rocker cover, which is here, excuse me, I've got a cold. Um, the rock cover fits over the, the rockers, obviously, um, and is held on by these nuts, which are nicely formed with a finger um, thumb recesses to that you to screw them on, and they just screw on and, and push the cover down, no problem at all. The trouble is that the spark plugs are mounted down the inside of the tubes. The tubes are screwed into the aluminium head and there's a copper washer at the bottom of the threaded hole in the head and these tubes are supposed to press up against that and seal. The trouble is after a number of years they start to leak and so the oil in the rocker camshaft area, um, <clears throat> sorry, push rods, not camshafts, uh, it obviously gathers in oil. This is not exactly bathed in oil, but it's only a lot of oil around, and the oil leaks down through the uh, bottom of the tubes and into the spark plug recess. So every time you take the spark plugs out, you find that they're half covered in oil, and uh, as soon as you take the plug out, the oil that's in the tube runs into the cylinder and so next time you start up you get a huge cloud of smoke every time you've serviced the spark plugs. Anyway, <clears throat> so that's the problem and according to the manual there's a special tool, there's a special Churchill tool originally back in the 60s that um, has a sort of collet arrangement and fits onto these threads and locks onto the thread and it's got a sort of tommy bar arrangement and uh, you probably screw the tool on, lock it in place and then you can unscrew the tubes. The trouble is that tool is very hard to find, I'm sure there's a few around but I've not managed to find one in the time I've uh, had this car. Um, but looking online uh, somebody suggested using a rule bolt. But there's two suggestions on a, a web page I found. One is to take benefit from the fact that the tube here, the um, so this is just resting here at the moment, the oil filler tube is the same diameter as the uh, spark plug tubes, which I'd never realised, but apparently on, I assume on the saloon engines rather than the, uh, the SP250, there's actually a nut on the bottom of the oil filler tube, which you can take off <laughs> and just use that tube together with the the proper thumb screws um, to lock this lot onto the, the tube and use that to get them out. Um, not ideal, I wouldn't have said, but uh, not an option in my case because the looks like the saloon, sorry, the uh, the sports car, the SP250, doesn't have a a nut on the oil filler tube anyway, so um, so that's not going to work for me. So that was one option. The other option was to use a raw bolt. So I've just bought two rule bolts. These are um, M16, which uh, seems to be the size to use. Uh, the bore of the spark plug tube is about 30 mil, and uh, what with a 16 mil bolt in here and the thickness of the expanding part, it brings it up to about 26 mil. And so what I've done is find a piece of uh, silicon tubing, which is actually the same as this as it happens, but a um, bit that I had to spare, and have pushed that onto the the bottom of this rule bolt, just to give it some padding and to fill out the um, the extra few millimetres of space. So sticking a piece of kitchen towel down the, uh, the plug tube, just to keep anything getting out from into the cylinder, this does actually fit in here pretty well, 
So pushing it in a reasonable distance, I guess that's probably about enough. It's then a case of tightening this up <coughs> so that it spreads into the into the plug tube. And once it's tight, it's a case of using a mole wrench on the plug tube and just gently easing this round and with a bit of luck there you go it's turning the tube so that's fantastic news quite stiff this is the first one I've done I don't know what the, the others will be as easy as this one seems to have been but uh, I'm pretty chuffed really this, this is, seems to be working quite well I've seen the thread is a similar length to the, the thread at the top end. And I'm assuming I'll find the washer down the bottom somewhere. A bit worried about picking shavings off this and dropping them into the uh, valve gear. I'm trying to avoid that. Ah, I start to see the thread now. Might even be finger tight. Oh, not quite. Oh, yeah, go. Yeah, it's starting to show the threads there. Oh, it's gone stiff again. Oh, there we go. So there's supposed to be a copper washer at, washer at the bottom, and there's uh, talk online of people using modified washers. Um, some other sort of top hat profile to um, locate inside the tube because supposedly the, uh, well, the washer moves with respect to the tube and that can cause it to leak as well. So a top hat shape is supposed to keep it located inside the tube better. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's just the uh, kitchen towel. And there is the. Uh, spark plug hole. So it is um, not symmetrical. There is this uh, section at the bottom here, uh, slightly longer than the top. There's a sort of spigot on the end. Good. A bit of clean tissue here. Let's see if I can clean out the, uh, the hole slightly. Oh yes, you can just see the washer, or as I can. Um, but it looks pretty clean and tidy. So there's no suspicion that the spark plug threads are damaged or anything. Let's just see if I can get the washer out. A little uh, sort of pick type thing here. Whether it's uh, that's better. A bit more light. Yeah, you definitely see the copper washer there. Uh, it, oh, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I haven't got any replacement for these washers, so I'm hoping that uh, these ones are okay. I'm thinking I might um, anneal them just to soften them up again and uh, use them again. But they are quite narrow, aren't they? It's pretty. Uh, you know, if I see how it's going to be aligned perfectly to the bottom of the tube, they stand a chance of sealing. Yeah, there's not a lot of uh, excess copper. Anyway, so that's a really good result. I'm really pleased with it. Um, Hopefully, I say the other seven will come out as, as easily as this one has. Um, but definitely, yeah, go for a M16 rule bolt. 
with a bit of tube around it of some kind. And it looks as if you can get the, uh, the spark plug tubes out, which is uh, so really good news. Okay. So again, here's the uh, spark plug hole cleaned up slightly. So it looks pretty clean. Just a bit of interest, I don't know if you can see in these ones at all, but the, uh, you can see the oil resting in that one. I don't know if I can reach with this. But yeah, I mean, there's oil. And it's up to the, uh, the lower edge of the spark plug hole. So uh, with the spark plug in, of course, it fills up even more. Uh, anyway, so uh, again, there's the, the tube. I'm thinking so I'll anneal the, the washer and also put a bit of this on Loctite 5910 which is a relatively high modulus black silicon sealant so a bit of luck with a bit of that on the thread and um, an annealed washer and the whole lot screwed back in maybe it will not leak for a few more years at least that's my hope anyway. <clears throat>